Hi, I'm Jamal Chandler with Cibo Global Markets, and this is Volatility 411 for Thursday, July 30th. Closing in on the end of the month here, and we have no shortage of stories. Conclusion of the Fed meeting yesterday, they left interest rates at near zero. They did maintain their vow to do whatever it takes to support the economic recovery. And Chairman Powell did say that the path forward for the economy depends on keeping the virus in check, which is fair. Uh, this morning, we had gross domestic product for the second quarter. GDP shrank 9.5% for the second quarter. Now, that's an annualized drop of 32.9% which is the steepest decline on record. Um, however, it did beat analyst expectation of a 34.5% decline, so some green shoots there. Um, this morning, we also had initial jobless claims, which rose for the second straight week to 1.43 million, and continuing claims rose by 867,000 to 17 million. So with that backdrop, uh, the S&P 500 traded down over 1% this morning to around the 3,200 level. Um, it has since recovered some of those losses and was trading around 32.30 as I sit here. The VIX index measured as high as 28 this morning before pulling back to below 26. All monthly expirations on the VIX futures curve are above 28. And in VIX options today, one of the larger trades we saw was a buyer of the D3570 call spread for $3.50 on 5,700 contracts. Now, the D's futures were trading 29.20 at the time. Don't forget, we have some major earnings today after the close from Apple, Amazon, Google, and Facebook. So we'll be listening out to hear what those tech titans have to say um, about the quarter. Thanks for watching Volatility 411. Have a great trading day.